Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a tutorial for YouTube. Um, so this is a Mavis tutorial. It's a 64 by 64 grid. Uh, not diagonally, just, uh, horizontally. I mean, no. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I'm really tired. Uh, so, in order to do it, I already have the grid set right here. But I'll show you how to fold this. So, yeah. So, guys, um... So the the base of it is based off of a four by four grid, and you have to make this type of pre creasing. So yeah. All right, guys. So um, this is a four by four grid. Um, and it's kind of different. So like, if I was gonna fold the body right here, it would be like this. But if I was gonna fold the head, it would be different. I'll show you what I mean. So guys, for the dress, it's like this, and for the hair. And this is arms. It's like this. So basically, it's like. <clears throat> Hold on. Just give me a sec. Sorry. Sorry for the paper crunching sounds. It's really bad. Alright, so. It's like this. So yeah. Now for the grid, um, how you do it, you copy it like this. I'll sh I'll do a stop motion. All right, guys. So this is like as far as I can get the grid to go back. So basically, what you just use is you go one more time over and keep doing it. And then copy on the other side the same way. Just fold like that. And then like that. And keep doing it. And then just fold back. And it'll look like this. So yeah guys. Um. I am not going to show how to collapse it. I will. Sort of. I will. And so. Then I'll show the details you can put into it. And it's not just some plain old collapsing. So yeah. All right, guys. So, I f I forgot to like show you, but um, this is only the part of it I collapsed, as well as this. So yeah, I'll be in a couple seconds. It's gonna be collapsed, and so is this. This video, these videos, you guys don't understand, take quite a long time. And uh, um, I do watch a couple of uh, other channels. To get my inspiration, but other than that, yeah, kind of bad. Then. But so yeah, um, that's it. Come back when I have these two parts collapsed. All right, guys. So I finished collapsing the base. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. So I finished the base, and yeah, it's all collapsed. Um, so what we're going to work on first is the hands with the sleeves, and I'll show you how to do that. So just shape the fingers first. Alright guys, so I've shaped the fingers, as you can see, um, on both sides, and so I need to fold, to, next you need to fold the arm, the arm wraps around her. her. Oh, I don't know why, but her clothes are very outgrown, so like her arms, the things are really short. So yeah. Alright guys, so um, to start it off, to do the arms, you just have to fold one layer down, and then just do this. Like this. You can see the length that I'm putting at, right after the five fingers, so it should be pretty easy for you. Uh, then you just close it up and copy on the other side. Alright guys, so now that I've got both hands, now we're going to move on to the shoulders of her. And if you're wondering, yes, I already did a, a giant model chest fold, so next is the shoulders. Now where to start on them uh, is right here. In the middle and right on the other middle sideways so like this way I'll show you all right guys so this is supposed to look like from the middle like this and yes this side is that only reason why is because this is the part on her arm where it actually leans down this is right hmm. this oh crap so hard this right here is for like the head where um the ribbon is and the ribbons right here 
on the chest model, the, this is where the ribbon is. It's right there. So it actually connects with it. So yeah. Um, I, I'm going to squash this and on the other side too. And on that side. And I'll be back with you guys. Yes. So, Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. Collapsed. You can already see how that is the top right there. Sorry. That's the top right there and this is the bottom where it, you know, lashes out on the side. And so now, uh, we're going to hold on to the ribbon real quick because it's a bit complicated. And we're going to move on to the uh, feet. So obviously you want to make five toes for a feet. And I'll show you in a second. Actually, right now. Alright guys, so this is the five toes. And this is where the dress is. And this is the middle. So you can see there's a lot of dress to work with. And, um, so yeah. It's going to be a bit of cleavage, so uh, be warned for that. I mean, because, like, not cleavage, but, like, there's going to be a lot happening down the middle. Uh, she's going to get the three things that um, hang, too, so you'll see. You'll see. So I'm going to copy on the other side and flatten it, and then I'll show you how to get it to do this. Because this is what we need for the dress. So, yeah. Peace. Alright, guys, so that's flattened, and, uh... In order to make the dress to where it, you know how like it's all wavy and stuff, you gotta fold, I'll show you, like this, like this, and then, um, fold it back like this, and where the guide mark is, you just fold, uh, two of them, hold on, let me show you, you have to fold like diagonally, I'll show you, so this is what it looks like, you just like squash it, see look, where the feet are, you just squash it down like this, and when you unfold it, this is what it looks like. And that's where, like, the guideline is on. You can see where we crease, that's where it is. And from that, you fold it all the way, like this. So start off by just doing this, and then follow along the crease. And then just start by collapsing like this. Just do it across the whole thing. So, yeah. Uh, alright, so this is it finally collapsed. Um, now looking at it, it doesn't really look like that much. So, I might, like, decrease the size of the feet. But I'm not gonna do it in this one. So, uh, what I like to do with the feet is turn it around and open these up. Like this. Like this. Sorry I keep saying like this. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. That's the only word I know right now. You just open it up on both sides. I didn't do it on both sides, but open up on both sides and just fold it back so you can really get under the dress. And yes, the hair is here. It's very long. Looks like a stick. Just a straight stick. Uh, alright guys, so, um, next we'll be doing, I was deciding to do the head, but now I was like, nah, let's just do the bow. Because, sorry, the head is a bit more complicated. And, uh, the bow is somewhat easier. But, uh, not really, so yeah, let's just get on with it. Uh, guys, this is, like, the basic of the ribbon. It's all you have to do, really. Um, then you just have to, like, uh, shape the two knots on the side, and then bring them together in the middle. And, you'll see. I'll show you. Alright, guys, so, like, this is what I was talking about on the double thing. You just fold it. It's really easy, it's just simple. Um, I'm actually getting pretty tired right now. But I'll keep recording just for sake of it. And I'm going to upload this tomorrow. Uh, so and now to the last part is the head. And then we go into shaping. That's it. So the head is probably the hardest part. Because you have to switch out the full model. Which is going to be really hard. You have to like double flap it. So yeah, let's begin. So you start by like... From the middle right here, you start by like splitting it up right here, and it's just one layer, and you just kind of carry it. It's kind of hard to see when what it's going on, but you just kind of carry it to the back, and that's where you'll get the uh, hair. You're gonna have to like uh, decrease, I mean, um, downgrade the size a lot for, uh, and you have to make two rows because for the hair and then the feather. Here. Hey guys, and uh, so there's not much instruction I can give to the head, but yeah, that's it. You can um, open up the flaps, which I'm going to do, and uh, 
put them in just like the, the the ribbon. The ribbon has to come together. So yeah. Next is uh the three flaps. Um, this shortens the model, which is it's good in a way, but bad at the same time. But uh, it it works. So yeah, I'll show you. So guys, um, this is it. I just all I did was collapse it in. There are three flaps. Uh, just use basic collapsing. There's, and I will not lie, there are two extra flaps in this model. So if there's any extra details behind her dress or anything, I'll, I'll get those. Her hair is overly long, which gives you a really good shaping view. Her arms are long, so you can just shorten those. I put a lot of uh, wraps under this because I'm gonna, when I shape, I'm gonna flatten it. So this is the top hair where the, the these are the feather ears. You can just take those out and the three uh, pieces of hair in her head. And then I sunk her chin also, collapsed the thing so you can see those. Uh, this is her head thing, so it's supposed to be on level with her. And really, that's, um, yeah, that's all. Uh, the only part that I find weird in the base, just does not make me like the model at all, is how this sticks up. It just looks wrong, like, really, it looks like a private part. Anyway, so, that is it for the tutorial. Um, I will see you guys next time. Uh, sorry for being so bad on YouTube, but I hope you like my videos, hope you comment, hope you subscribe, and if you want to go on my Flickr, check out what I've been updating on there. I update almost daily, or the day after that. Um, it is Kamari Perry, that's my Flickr name, so you can download the app or go on Google or something, or just, you know, I'm into Pokemon, anime, uh, to folding other people's models sometimes. So yeah, peace out Dragon Claw Origami. Hope you have a really good time, and that's it. Bye.